The words of the Lord's Prayer are very familiar. We hear it or say it in so many different contexts. Taking time to think about the words as we are in these devotionals is really worthwhile. And I found that it can transform my whole prayer experience, not just the times when I say this particular prayer. In Matthew 6 verse 9, Jesus' words are, This, then, is how you should pray. What follows is, of course, the Lord's Prayer. I suspect he wasn't telling us to use the words of the Lord's Prayer every time we pray. But he was giving us a structure for our prayer time. Whether we're praying alone, or in a small group, perhaps a house group, or during a church service, this structure can and often is used. Today we come to the line, hallowed be your name. So what does hallowed actually mean? Well, it can be used to describe someone who is respected and praised because of their great importance and also used to describe someone as being holy, that is exalted, worthy of complete devotion and perfect in goodness and righteousness. Therefore, when we use the word hallowed, we're using it to express God's greatness and majesty to show the respect that we have for his name and to acknowledge that he is perfect, good and righteous. When we say, hallowed be your name, we're expressing our adoration to an almighty and everlasting Father. It is the heart of worship. But how can we express these things when we pray? I'd like to make three suggestions that you might like to consider, although hopefully many others will come to mind as we think on about hallowed be your name. My first suggestion is to read silently or out loud a psalm that speaks of God's character and praises him for who he is and what he does. We all have our favourite psalms that enable us to express adoration. Take these opening words of Psalm 95, for example. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the mountain peaks belong to him. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands form the dry land. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care. This psalm reminds us that God is the creator and that there is nothing that he cannot do. It reminds us that he is our shepherd and he cares deeply for us and will always search us out when we become distant or lost from him. It reminds us that he is the rock of our salvation. He is a firm foundation on which we build our lives. 
Isn't that a great way to express the reality of hallowed be your name? The psalm also encourages us to extol him with music and song. And this leads me on to my next suggestion about how we might want to express hallowed be your name in our prayer time. Using recorded music as part of your prayer time can be a great way of expressing the phrase hallowed be your name. 